Kia ora tātou, uh, e roto te mana ki tango te tātou ariki, matua tama wairua tapu me ngā ne hera pono me te maanga hi tau toko mai, ai nei a ki nei ai. Uh, no reira, tēnei mihi atu ki a koutou. Um, it's a Sunday today, so I know a lot about our whānau, our mōrehu, um, not just our mōrehu, but all of our people who are tūpono to iho would have been uh, in their space of whakamoimiti today, this morning, so... um. So we're actually still down here in Rotorua and we were actually able to have whakamoimiti with our whanau down here and it was actually really awesome. Awesome as, actually quite inspirational. They've um, exposed us to some things that we might think about doing when we go back to Auckland. So um, kia ora. So we're carrying on. This is day 82 of Marmatanga in a minute. We're, what is it, 18 days away. Not too far away whanau but... Uh, tonight, as you can see in the um, caption, Ngā Hairinga o Te Māngai, and t- what we've, we've talked about Ngāti Mania uh some of Ratana's involvement there, and there's a whole lot more kōruru in terms of what Ratana did in Ngāti Mania Poto. Um, and also, the night before that, we talked about some of the things that Ratana did in Ngāti Whātua, um, and in particular in Ōrōwhara, but Ratana's uh, the extent of his mahi was throughout the whole of uh, the, re- the rohi of Ngāti Whātua. But, ka pai, I'm going to just see if I can bring my mate on, see how it goes. So, we just this is the first night we're going to try this whānau. And this is what we're hoping to do over the next couple of nights. So, uh, Tyson, tēnā koe. Tēnā koe, Rani. Can you hear me? Yep. Pai, pēhea bro. Kei te ora tonu, pēhea koe. Ah, pai ana bro. So yeah, we know uh, you hold a lot of kōruru about uh, some of the things that Ratana did in Taupo. So we're hoping tonight mm. uh, you might be able to share some of that stuff with us. But maybe um, tell us about your whānau bro and how, how you fellas came into the marmatanga. Nā te nā tātou i te moru i rā rau i ngā manā ki tango tō tātou wariki, matua tama wai nua tapu mai ngā nei rā pūro. Nā te maanga e i tau tupo mai ai e nea ki nei ai. Te nā koutou i ngā moru hi. Just a bit about myself, I've been raised in this mara matanga from the day I was born. Um, I was raised as, as a moru hi in the, in the rohe of Tupere Tō. Um, christened under the Ratana faith by my Runanga Takiwa Matarawara. Um, uh, at Waikahani in about 1995, I was christened. Oh no, sorry, maybe 1993. Um, 93? Followed 1993 and uh, followed this Matarawara from the age of six. Um, uh, my whānau is very tuturu to the Maramatanga. Uh, we have got a lot of strong beliefs within our own Maramatanga, um, within um, our rohe, Taupo Wai Marino, uh, but, and also also my whānau from Tauranga Mona. Uh, that oh, kia ora. Hmm. Oh, so you got um, two horns. Yeah, hi. Oh, rawe, bro. Oh, well, kapai, um, thank you for uh, taking some time out tonight to share some important kōrero. So um, we'll go right into it, bro. Um, and hopefully you might be able to ask, um, afi us in some of this kōrero. But we want to know um, what are some of the historical kōrero about what the Ratana did in Taupo and in, in Ngāti Tūwharetoa. Um, and maybe if you do know of any other story in terms of healing or whakawātea, um, any mahi that Ratana did, which, um, because as some of us know, Tuwharetō has actually a, a strong contingent of moru within all of their marae. Um, so we want to yeah. try and capture some of that. Or if you are able to share some of that, bro, then um, tēnā koe. So, hoa tu kia koe. I cannot say that I can't move forward with Father Mexico Tatu Papa. Before our Father or our Eve or our Murahi from Tu 
för att jag tog rattarna. Och jag mår inte av alla vi ringer till. Hon är bara kvar på den här mordi. The most that I knew he had was seen to that in the at the time just after the the arrival of the Holy Spirit. Um, he listened to the quarter or the rattle had given. On his return back to Suparato, um, our the crow, our crow that sent our his mokopuna put a holy down to rattle to listen to the quarter, and asked him. I hung a quarter of the ito ito to ya to pao rasana. The kuruhori responded with, "But you are some way you are some run ahead of Pono." And oh, our hamai, our our mates gone in um. I'll try and pull you back on again, bro. Um, uh, as Tyson was talking, he was sharing a, a bit about one of the uh, uh, oh. chief. I don't have my thing. I must have. Hey, you, you, might, you might be covering your microphone. The. Can you hear me now, Ryan? Hi, Payana, bro. Oh my God, oh, I'll get back to that. So, um, at the time when our crow of Hori went to the pa and he arrived back, and um, our, his crow asked him what were the kōrero that Ratana had given, and, it would, and as soon as the toko kāmaka of Matu Atama Wairu Atapu Mengāna Hira Puro, had was spoken, that's when our Morehu changed from the Hahi Ringatu to the Hahi Ratana. Yeah. And in 1928, Itatu Maya Ita Manga Ike Ruto From the, from, Mai Te Waka Wehe Ia Mai I Te Paonga Ariki Kia Kia tai mai e ki te tahi wahi i roto ia o tūka, tata ki te, tata ki te, te halfway ki ngā kāhui maunga. Rātana then came and bought, when he travelled from Rātana up to the halfway mark, he wore his ture wairua hat, he stayed there overnight, and then he made his way up to Te Omakapā, which he passed through various Morehu Marais, gifting Morehu Marais flags. And also, um, there was one quarter or day when um, Ratana refused to go onto one of our Marais at Korohe due to the teko teko um, that was uh, that was that was because there was a bit of um, Hatana thing in that quarter or so, um, so he refused to go to to Korohe, um, and after the after he had carried on his journey through to Waitahanui, he stopped it and gifted us a flag in 1928. He then carried on his journey to to Waipahihi Marae, where there were no our crowers didn't know he was coming. And they actually sat in the in the fare, and the mangai drove past. But as he made his way back, he's called in and gifted also a flag to that marae. Um, sure. The, the the significance why Ratana didn't stop it, of when Ratana came back, the significance why our Morihu decided to. Um, to change is because he healed also our whānau in, in our own rohe. Uh, it was a he, he he left a lot of um, tohus. He left a lot of symbolisation for our mūrehu to uphold this marama Um 
And when Rafana when when Rafana proceeds to go to Krohe, the Marae um actually uh the hub the crower at the time removed the tickle tickle down and replaced it with the Petri Maraba. And um it's the pa in the Parimarama. So when I went to him, I called it all back. Hey, Henry, I called it all the Jacquard. So what's his name, Marama Sanga? But what's the mean me or what's his name, Marama Sanga? Not what's the fuck up with him. But I didn't mean me, yeah, I didn't mean me, so Motera, when I called it all the people, so I. Oh, I would like to share, but I'm not quite knowledgeable at that just yet. But the 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 main the main one I've given is is basically the halfway mark, and oh, we're yeah. up at where that's the real significant um, history that 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 brings us into this Maramatanga. Is the halfway mark. So how many Marae in Tuwharetoa um, do you know that are um, Marae Morihi? We've got about eight, eight or nine, nine tuturu Marae that that's, that um, that that are true to this to uh, that are that are Morihi. Um, we do have other Marae that support Morihi Taka, but. Uh, uh, as we say, we always me fuck a quota here. I thought we'd rather take Maruo Ihua on a man. Then I'll quit. Oh, Pite and I, bro. Um, I think you've already shared a whole lot of corridor there, too. And I think with some of the last remarks there, you know, he mahanga corridor. But I think, you know, if mm. we just give people enough for them to take, and maybe it'll spark a bit of interest for them to actually go and dig a bit more and, and search a bit more. And for those who do live in Taupo and, and, and that, um, probably you fellas know a bit of that kōrero, or if you don't, um, I'm sure a lot of our kaumata and our, our kuya down there would be more than happy to possibly share some of that. Or just, hey, go to fucking mm. Wimiti and hear it all near. But, um, hi, iru te tēnā e hoa, mi tēnei kia koe mō mēnei kōrero ko kōrero tia, E pāna ki ngā mahi o uh, rātana, uh, kei roto o te rohe o Taupo Waimarino. Uh, no reira, ai, mi tēnei ki a kū. Uh, o te rā ki a koutou, e mātakitaki ana i tēnei wā. We've heard from uh, Tyson a bit of some of the um, mahi that rātana did. Ai, one of the main reasons of people turning uh, into Whareitoa to be followers of rātana was some of the kōrero that came back by the Kroa Hori, is that right? Tenakwe, aye. Right. And obviously, with all the whakapikiora that he did when he travelled to that area. So, um, and that seems to be how the movement grew, because Ratana mm. he, part of healing. And he taught our people, actually, and he said to the Apotro, uh, what I have, you fellas have also. So this whakapikiora that he shared to our people all those years back, um, is still alive today, Fano, and we have that ability to to um, give fuck up a kira to our Fano. Um, and so tonight we've been able mm. to remember some of that stuff. So um, iroti tena um, Tyson, tena koe hoa, um, koto mataki taki ana mi kia koto kato iroti te mana ki tango to tato ariki matua tama wairo tapu honore ki ngā ane he rapuro me te mano ariki he kaiafina he koto to komai. I and I can I. No, they're not quite right.